Ready? Yes. Why are you coming forward? All my life, I've been about finding places where I can go uh, and make a difference. This is Peter Zacco. Until January of this year, he was head of security at Twitter, but now he's a whistleblower. And he says Twitter's security problems are so grave, they are a risk to national security and democracy. I think Twitter is a critical resource to the entire world. I think it's an extremely important platform. He's handed over information about the company to US law enforcement agencies, including the SEC, FTC, and the Department of Justice. May I ask your name in the middle? Uh, I'm Mudge. Zacco is better known in the hacking world by his nickname, Mudge. He's been a renowned cybersecurity expert for decades. His roots are in hacking, figuring out how computers and software work. That expertise might be why Jack Dorsey, then CEO of Twitter, hired Zacco after the company was hit by a massive attack in 2020 when hackers took over the accounts of some of the world's most famous people. Mudge was one of the top uh, five or six executives at the company. Zacco is represented by John Tai, who founded Whistleblower Aid, the same group that represented Facebook whistleblower Francis Haugen. We are in touch with the law enforcement agencies. They're taking this seriously. Twitter is pushing back, saying Zacco is peddling a narrative about our privacy and data security practices that is riddled with inconsistencies and inaccuracies and lacks important context. When we spoke to Zacco and his lawyer, they said that the lawful whistleblower disclosure process only allows them to talk about these issues in general terms. For specific allegations about Twitter, they referred us to Zacco's disclosure. I'm not going to go into details, but I will say that Mudge stands by the disclosure and the allegations in there. CNN and The Washington Post obtained a copy of the disclosure from a senior Democratic official on Capitol Hill. In it, Zacco claims nearly half of Twitter's employees have access to some of the platform's main critical controls. There's an analogy of an airplane. So you get on an airplane and every passenger and the uh, uh, attendant crew all have access to the cockpit, to the controls. You know, that's entirely unnecessary. It might be easy, but there it's too easy to accidentally or intentionally turn an engine off. Twitter accounts belonging to a whole lot of famous people. Former President that kind of access Obama contributed to the Kanye massive West attack in the summer of 2020 well. when hackers, two of them teenagers, tricked a couple of Twitter employees into letting them into Twitter's systems. That gave them access to accounts, including that of then presidential candidate Joe Biden. I don't have to tell you the significance of being able to breach uh, the Twitter accounts with many millions of followers, including of leading politicians three months from a presidential election. In the disclosure, you quote from a Wired magazine article that says, but if a teenager with access to an administration panel can bring the company to its knees, just imagine what Vladimir Putin can do. Foreign intelligence agencies have uh, the resources to identify vulnerabilities that could have systemic ac effects across the entire platform, across the whole internet. Twitter told CNN that since the 2020 hack, it had improved these access systems and had trained staff to protect themselves against hacking. If you're running any system, the more people that have access to the main switches, yep. that's a very risky situation. Yes, uh, absolutely. I'm talking in generalities, just large tech companies need to know what the risks are, and then they also need to have an appetite to go fix it. Zacco also claims Twitter has been misleading about how many fake accounts and bots are on its platform. That's an issue that Elon Musk has made central to his attempt to get out of a deal to buy the company. I guess right now uh, I'm sort of debating the number of bots on Twitter. There will be suspicions of the timing of this. Are you guys carrying water for Elon Musk? Absolutely not. We've been following the news just like everyone else, um, but that has nothing to do with his decisions or with the content of, uh, of what was sent in to U.S. law enforcement agencies. Mudge hasn't been talking to Musk in the background or anything like Not that. at all. Zacco says he was fired by Twitter in January of this year after he tried to raise the alarm internally. He points the finger at Twitter CEO Parag Agarwal, saying he has worked to hide Twitter's security vulnerabilities from the board. I suspect that uh, Twitter might try to paint it like this, that Mudge got fired and he's trying to retaliate against the company. A absolutely not. This is not any kind of personal issue for him. He was eventually fired in January of this year, but he hasn't given up on, on trying to do that job.
In response to the allegations, Twitter told CNN security and privacy had long been a priority at Twitter. As for Zacco, they said he, quote, was fired from his senior executive role at Twitter more than six months ago for poor performance and leadership. He now appears to be opportunistically seeking to inflict harm on Twitter, its customers, and its shareholders. Your whole perception of the world is made from what you are seeing, reading, and consuming online. And if you don't have an understanding of what's real, what's not, yeah, I think this is pretty scary. Are you nervous? Yeah, yeah. This wasn't my first choice. That's, yeah, I, I just want to make the world a better place, a safer place. The levers that I have to do it are through uh, security, information, and privacy.